What's going on everyone? It's your boy Sinister Cobra and welcome to another Halo video. Today we are covering the new Inside Infinite article. But before we take a deep dive into what the article has to say, let's quickly go over this roadmap that 343 gave us. So 343 laid out a general plan of what to expect in the Inside Infinite articles for the next few months. So in this article, we'll be covering the Zeta Halo environment next month in March. The post will be about the audio team. And then finally in April, the post will be about the PC team with E3 probably being in June. I assume they are going to take the time between April and June to prepare things for their presentation at E3. Of course, this is assuming that they will be there. And if the current rumors are correct, then we will probably be seeing an updated version of last year's demo. But nevertheless, there is plenty of time between April and fall. Again, I am predicting this game to come out on the date of Halo's 20th anniversary, which means we still have a long way to go between April and November to get a lot more information on Halo Infinite. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this article. So this Inside Infinite article covers a lot of the design process for Zeta Halo. Unfortunately, I feel like this article does not really cover many new things things that we don't already know. We did get a handful of screenshots, a mix of concept art and in-game screenshots which do come from the PC build, but they spend a lot of the interview reiterating that they are focusing more on a classic art style and that this game is going to be an open world game. Again, if you want to read this interview and take a look at their design philosophies and all that, the link will be in the description below. I'll just be pointing out a couple of things that I found interesting in this one, including an official confirmation of the day and night cycle. They even provided screenshots of this day and night cycle in progress. Here we can see a forerunner structure and the surrounding environment and then they included a frame of the same environment at different points in time. We also got concept art of a bunch of banished structures. Again, not much going on here, but it's great to take a peek at what we should be expecting playing the campaign. However, the most interesting screenshot we did get in this article is of this one showing off the HUD and the new sniper rifle. It looks like the sniper rifle has been heavily influenced by the Halo Reach sniper. It is a fantastic look, but I think the key takeaway of this in-game screenshot is that it looks like the delay has paid off for 343. This game is looking fantastic, or at least it's looking a lot better than what we saw last at last year's E3. This screenshot alone has me craving for some new gameplay footage, so hopefully we will be seeing that sooner rather than later. But yeah, not much is going on in this article. Like I said, we got a handful of screenshots which I've been showing in the background of this video. No new mechanics or gameplay or anything has been revealed. They just really reiterated what we already knew. I was hoping they would show us a little bit more on the campaign. We've seen this same biome over and over and it's just starting to look like Forge World to me. But yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. It's a little bit on the shorter side as there was not much new information in this inside infinite article but as we get closer and closer to e3 i hope we do get to see some gameplay but yeah guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did remember to leave a like in this video subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these new updated in-game screenshots as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you in the next one